Hello, my name is Michelle Noonan from Divi Soup and for recipe number 22 I'm going to show you how to add links to the Divi Gallery module and show captions on Hover. For the full blog post to this recipe and the accompanying CSS you can go to divisoup.com forward slash r22. For our ingredients we're going to need the Divi theme from Elegant Themes some suitable images sized around 900 by 600 pixels but any image size should be fine. This should take you around 15 minutes max. So for our preparation we need to set up the section. So this is the effect we're going to create. It's a full width gallery module and in the grid layout and you can see when you hover over an image you get a title, a subtitle and a nice semi-transparent border and each of these images links to a URL which you set within the caption field in the media library. So let's get started. Head to your WordPress dashboard and add a new page. Ensure you have the Divi Builder active and then in the first section that it gives you insert a single column and then add the gallery module. Now within your settings you're going to choose the grid layout Set the number of images you want to use, and even numbers usually best, I'm going to use 8. And then ensure that the show title and caption field is set to yes. Then save and exit. And we're just going to go into the row settings. And we're going to make it full width and set the custom gutter width to one so we have no space in between our rows and then save and exit. Now for the method. Now if we go back into the gallery module we need to set up our gallery images. So click on update gallery and when the media library opens, you're going to want to upload the images that you want to use just as you normally would when you're uploading any images to the media library. Now what we're going to do is select the images that we want to use in our gallery. So I'm going to select the eight images here from my demo and click add to gallery. Then when we go into edit our gallery, what you'll see is I've already got my links in here, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add the HTML link from the blog post into the caption field of the image. You're also going to want to add a title and alt text for SEO purposes, but these won't be displayed on the front end. So when you've added your link, which will give you the URL for the page you want to open, the title, and then the subtitle. So once you've done that for the first image, just select each image and add in the links and the text that you want for each image. And then when you've done that, update your gallery, save and exit, and then if we preview, you should end up with something like this. So obviously that doesn't look quite like our demo. So what we need to do now is to add the CSS. Now to give you a quick overview of what this CSS is doing, the first section here is going to hide the default overlay and title for the images. The next section is going to position the images absolutely so we can then relatively position the captions on hover. Here we're setting the colour of the caption text. Here we're just using a HTML bold tag so that we can show a title and style it how we want it to look. The next section here is actually setting up the hover effect. So it's styling the location of the caption and the padding so that the 
overlay effect covers the entire image. This section is setting the opacity of our hover effect to display on hover. And then below that, we've got all of our media queries. So what we're doing is we are changing the padding on different screen sizes so that the darker background of the hover effect displays over the whole image, no matter what the screen size. So if you're wanting to adjust this for any screen sizes when you're using perhaps more or less text, then the first value here is what you're going to want to change. This media query here changes the layout from three columns to two columns on tablets in portrait mode, which I think looks better than three columns. And then the ones below are just media queries for mobiles. So that's what our CSS does. So grab the CSS from the accompanying blog post copy it to your clipboard and then what you're going to do is you're going to paste it either into the page specific CSS box, the Divi theme options custom CSS box or your child theme style sheet. Now because in this particular recipe I haven't used a custom class, this CSS will apply to any gallery module that you have on the particular site you're using it on if you put it in Divi theme options or your child theme style sheet. So that's fine if you want to use it for all of your galleries, but if you just want to use it for a specific gallery, then you're going to want to use the page specific CSS box. So that's where I'm going to put this. So click on the hamburger menu here, and then in this custom CSS box, you're going to paste your CSS. Click Save. Preview again. And now our gallery should change and look the same as our demo. And that's it. So now you can use the gallery module for much more than just displaying images and opening them in a modal window. If you like this recipe, head on over to divisoup.com forward slash r22. Scroll down to the bottom of the blog post and there'll be a section where you can get access to the layout for free. And you can subscribe to my newsletter to get all of my recipes weekly straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching.